Good morning and welcome to Galactic Soul Healing. This morning we have for you a little impromptu oracle card reading uh, for February the 21st, 2022. Decks we're going to be using are The Animal Dreaming by Scott Alexander King and we have the Fairy Wisdom Oracle uh, by Amy Brown uh, and Nancy Brown. Um, and we have the Angels and Ancestors by Carl Gray. Uh, artwork by Lily Moses. Um, the Animal Dreaming artwork, uh, I think it's all Scott Alexander King. Uh, yes. Okay. So, let's get to shuffling. Um, I've had a really busy last two days, weekend. Uh, out on my bike, doing some awesome meditation, getting some beautiful fresh air, uh, and uh, yeah, visiting people, it's been fantastic. Um, and um, I think one of the words that came up pretty much during my meditation, uh, sorry, when, my cycle, when I'm riding or walking and things like that, sometimes I get kind of a spontaneous downloads, uh, and there was this word about interdependence that came up. Um, and I think as we move up in ascension, obviously our heart chakras are kind of activating a little more. But um, it's kind of going to be, although we have been, been through a period of a bit of isolation and lockdown, um, I think it's going to be shifting, or we'll be finding means and ways to actually uh, help each other out more. Um, in terms of, you know, um, really activating more of the heart space, getting more, um, perhaps being more compassionate, uh, more tolerant towards others, but also towards ourselves. So we'll be able to naturally get a better balance between giving our energy away to others and knowing where to put ourselves and how much to put ourselves out there in order to to get a bit of giving and receiving going on with that. Um, I think perhaps in the past people were, they tended to either be, you know, very isolationist or uh, perhaps overly giving. I mean, obviously there are many of you out there that kind of, you know, do a bit of both. But there are also many of you that are kind of going through shifts with this, I think. Um, and I know that I'm one of those people. Um, and particularly for us empaths, you know, uh, we can have the experience of when we do feel like we're giving out to people, we give too much or we feel too much and then we tend to go through a phase of pulling back and going, I'm not going anywhere near people very much because I just get completely drained. And as empaths, we're going to be able to really tune in and know how to make ourselves stronger but feel completely safe in giving ourselves space and being able to be assertive and strong and saying, you know, it's okay for me to ask. I need a bit of time to myself or to actually just have times away. But then because we're stronger, uh, when we're with other people, we can feel more authentic, more relaxed, um, and it's going to be awesome. So this could be the theme of, of the reading. Um, <clears throat> and, um, yeah, the collective that... Um, think was kind of um, dropping this in might may have been the Hatterian collective because um, uh, you know with often with um, Hatterian the Hatterian collective there was um, empathic uh, because they're very um, empathic like that civilization they're very and a lot of high frequency civilizations and collectives are it's like they're all of one mind so they're very kind of feeling each other's stuff but being really at peace and calm with it um but also having their little individuality thing going on as well like their special gifts and things like that so really peaceful existence um but uh, with heterian star seeds in particular or people that have had incarnations there codependency can be an issue when they come down to earth because they naturally have this healing loving thing that they give out and they can sense other people's stuff um, but if they're not aware that that's going on, 
they can get pulled into situations where other people kind of tend to use them a bit or they go into more codependent relationships where it's sort of like they're feeling really extremely needy and they're with someone else who's perhaps taking advantage of that or you know there can be lots of different dynamics going on um so i think it could be hedarian message um on moving into interdependence okay this is what the card's going to be i think helping us with today so um i'd just like to thank the hedarian collective um and any other collectives that are having input into this theme coming through now um yeah, as always we're really grateful for any messages and uh you know if if something um, i say doesn't resonate you know please don't take it on if it does resonate all on good um yeah look into it so um yeah and um our new way of being our higher frequency is going to be fantastic because i think a lot of us empaths are going to be um really getting more in touch with our authentic being we're going to be able to kind of really discern uh, our frequency from that of others and what gives us joy we really need to be strong in maintaining that for ourselves because that'll help us to be stronger when we're dealing with um, other frequencies and other energies okay so this could even be you know like a bit of a reading for empaths but it could be you know for everyone really we're moving into interdependence let's start with the animals um, I was just directed to use these kind of um, nature kind of based images today um, and he came up before willpower um, so with interdependence if we've been a bit isolationist or isolated um, it's going to take a bit of willpower and self-discipline for us to do two things one of them is find our strength and our joy and be committed to that but also to then reach out and find other people that perhaps share a similar kind of um, uh, interest that they really enjoy and love and um, having the willpower to believe that it's really important for you for us to do this okay um and yeah it's determination as well um but also to just keep having faith that we can do this okay um <coughs> <coughs> hummingbird dreams you know what um as we go as we ascend more we're getting more i think more of us having with our dream experience it's becoming more real perhaps more lucid um, there might even be more subconscious material coming forward in dreams that's going hey I'm ready to be processed now um, and <coughs> yeah <coughs> but the hummingbird there's a significance for that little bird there and I'm just going to quickly Oh, the number is 30. I'm just going to quickly look this one up because there's a key phrase here that we are going to um, just bring out. Um, the hummingbird's a beautiful little thing. Um, okay, the key word is the smallest. Okay, take time to notice the small things, the smallest things. Um, now, this is also about intuition and awareness so being really aware of your emotions your little emotional shifts um, and perhaps even when you're with other people how you are feeling when you're with them honestly you know are you feeling joy or are you feeling um, confusion um, because sometimes with us empaths we can obviously a lot of a lot of the time we could be feeling percentage of our own feelings but then we're also feeling a little bit of what the other people are feeling so it's going to be um, about noticing those little things um, <coughs> um, okay so it's saying you know even though we may feel small we all have our place um, in the universe and everyone has a purpose and a role that only they can feel 
so you know everyone's special and unique and this is the thing to keep in mind with interdependentness is I think it's another point to consider for compassion because um, if you feel that you're very empathic but you're dealing with people that you feel perhaps aren't so much just notice that we uh, you know you still have things to learn from those people and they have things to learn from you okay so we still we're still all teaching each other but it's about honoring um, our differences and our similarities um, and just um, really keeping the frequency high as much as possible um, yeah um, The other thing about birds is their higher consciousness. So I really love that. It's almost like, even symbolically, that could almost be that, you know, this is the person here. And this is almost, so it could be a metaphor, you know, symbolic of higher self. And it's almost like going, you know, it's time to reach up now, reach out into love, compassion, understanding, and to create um, some interdependence in your life. When it into my interdependence, I mean, instead of independence where we're completely independent of others there's different mean different ways to define that of course sometimes people mean independence as you can look after yourself and you can get help when you need it interdependence is um yeah it is that two-way street okay so it's about being there for others but also um asking for help um, and allowing other people to help you okay I think a lot of the time sometimes we're conditioned into thinking that we shouldn't be asking for help from other people um, and we also need to we can also it gives us an opportunity to show and display gratitude okay express our gratitude for someone when they help us okay um, and what do we have here? This is uh, bask in joy and light. Awesome. Busy, busy bumblebee. And as you know, it's a little bit like the hive. <laughs> the bee in the hive, the, hi the hive mind, which <laughs> sounds a bit, you know, Star Trekky, and it could have a little bit of, it might sound ominous, like the hive. Because uh, I think there was a movie, uh, yeah, I think it was uh, MIB International, uh, where, you know, the bad one was called The Hive. Um, but this is more um, alluding to oneness of purpose and, um, you know, working together in synchronicity. It's not like we, we want to be slaves, okay, which, you know, with The Hive it's like you've got the queen bee and all the other little workers are slaving around. Um the word here is joy and I think it's really just saying that you know we can take a lesson from the bee it's not like we have to be exactly like the bee but we can just take a lesson in terms of you know let's um, work together a little more and this is what independence is about this is about uh, what um, working together with in compassion harmony peace and balance this is how it's going to be created because if we're all um, sectioned off it's not going to feel very loving and caring and supportive okay and part of the joy of life is to be able to you know be with others and to express your authentic self in you know in peace harmony and balance and joy and love okay so these things here you know we have the wings featuring and we have birds <coughs> so we have a little winged insect in here and this is about the smallest so it's like just doing the small things small little steps towards interdependence and see the little fairy penguin here I mean they don't have big long legs they don't take big steps they take baby steps and I think this is what it's saying is um you know if you feel like you're really having you've had to be very independent um just start taking little steps now making little inroads you know perhaps um doing a couple extra phone calls to people you know, um, you can still, I mean, you can still go meet people for coffee and just, you know, sit your 1.5 metres distance away, um, you know, depending on where you are. Uh, if you're in isolation, obviously, you 
uh, quarantine or whatever you can't necessarily do that but you could Skype you can literally have a coffee on Skype um, you know and um, yeah and just maybe do some art do some self-expression do some writing maybe uh, take time to look into um, ventures and interests that you have been interested in but you haven't maybe had the time to explore um, do an on, or you could do an online mini course or anything there's so many different courses and uh, interest things you can do out there these days you know you can jump on YouTube or Google anything um, but you know we will get through this and um, we're moving into you know this little the higher self thing here like if this was a progression um, you know it would be you know we have to use our willpower we've had to use our willpower to kind of get through and take those little baby steps um, and now we're having to, you know, this one here is we are having to um, start to acknowledge our spiritual self, our higher self, even in small ways when you start doing some sort of spiritual practice as well, um, some internal work. And this is here, it's like, you know, um, basking in the warmth, the joy and the light. And, um, you know, that's going to be the, the outcome of you know when we're all in 5d it's going to be awesome thank you for listening i will check you probably tomorrow and um have a great day